beautiful Wish Field at Cacciatore Stadium. Game number two of a four-game homestand for the DePaul Blue Demons. And sure enough, the Blue Demons came through with a thrilling 2-1 to -one victory in overtime over Syracuse. Goal number one was scored by the young lady next to me, Natasha Radosevlovich. Natasha, describe that first goal for us. We were losing at that point. Um, I just wanted to come in and make an impact, and Callie made a great run, and she was really physical and got the ball, and she, I called for the ball, and as soon as I got it, just made a composed decision and scored it into the, around the goalkeeper. Coach Chastain told me that it was a very composed shot. What did you do to settle yourself down and not rush your shot? Well, it was on my left foot, and knowing that it was going to come to my left foot, I just, I mean, when I got it, I just looked up and uh, hit it with the inside of my foot and kind of curved it into the goal, just to make sure it wasn't too hard or too soft. Today's game was also quite physical. There were injuries and players coming out on both sides. Talk about what it was like to be in such a physical ball game. Well, um, the physicality is a big deal, I guess you could say. Um, Everyone just gets really fired up as soon as a bad tackle is made. I mean, it's it's a good way to get your team pumped up and really rowdy. I mean, when it's, when it's physical, you got to be physical back. So. That's a great answer. Stay right there. And to my right, Ashley Goddard, freshman from London, England. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. And Coach Chastain said to me that the team's been waiting for you to score your first goal. You've been so dangerous. You've had a number of opportunities. I can remember a game where you had a shot right in the middle of the field and just missed a chance to score. Uh, tell us what it feels like to score your first goal for DePaul. I'm so relieved. It's definitely been coming for a while. I was starting to worry. Like I've had so many chances, um, but no, I'm just I'm so happy to have, to have finally got the goal. So. What was the reaction of your teammates when you scored that goal in overtime? Well, everyone knew how much it meant to me to like to actually finally score. So um, yeah, I think everyone just went crazy and jumped on me, so <laughs> it was funny. Uh, describe the play to us, Ashley, how it was set up and what you were thinking as you got the ball. Well, I just remember Ari was running down the line and she like looked up and kind of made eye contact with me and as she kicked it over, I saw it go over the keeper and it was just perfect for me just to tap in with my head. So no, it was a brilliant cross and yeah, I'm just happy I dived to get on the end of it. Great. One last question. I'm going to, I think in my website store, I call this the Freshman Connection because two freshmen are the heroines of the day today. Talk about a little bit about what it's like as a freshman and how the freshmen have made such a, you know, a quick impact on this team. You know, it's great, but we can't take all the credit. I mean, our team has pulled us through. Um, obviously, we wouldn't have got into the positions if it weren't for our teammates. So, um, no, it's nice to have a, an impact um, on the team as soon as we come in. So, um, but no, it, it wasn't one of our greatest team performances, but we come from behind yet again. It shows our depth in team and we're strong. So, teams beware. Well, I'll tell you what, Ashley, can you promise you're going to score another goal so we can get you on camera again? I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> okay, that's a report from Wishfield.